Hey, hi, hello, and all that good stuff. My name is Allie, and this is where I talk about book things. So as you can tell, I am sitting on my floor today because I have something a little different for you guys. You may already know that I am one of the hosts for the Hogwarts House Battles Readathon, taking place through the entirety of September here. I am a host for Team Slytherin, my co-host, as well as Ishi Time, and I will link her channel down below and all her stuff as well as the Twitter for the readathon and everything will be linked down below as well and any information on the challenge I'm going to tell you guys about today. So before I get into how this particular challenge is going to work, let me tell you a little bit about the challenges in general. So each week one Hogwarts house will be hosting the challenges for that week on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, wherever they choose to have their challenges and you can earn house points for your team by participating in those challenges. So you will have the entire week to get your entry submitted, but it needs to be then submitted by midnight uh, that Saturday. Let's go ahead and jump into how this challenge is going to work. So Slytherin House is hosting a bookish scavenger hunt for you to do. And we're kind of combining our challenge for Instagram and YouTube, so you have two different ways you can participate in this challenge. The first way is going to be to create a YouTube video, kind of like this one, where you'll complete the scavenger hunt, see how fast you can do it, and then show us your books, and post it, and then post the link in the comments of this video so that I can find it. And then you'll have completed the challenge. Otherwise, if you don't want to do a YouTube video, you can also participate in this challenge on Instagram and you can complete the scavenger hunt without recording it, and then do a spread of some way of all the books that you found that meet the requirements for the scavenger hunt, and use hashtag HBWeekly, and then we'll be able to find those as well. I will put the list of prompts for the scavenger hunt down below so you can easily find them, but right now I'm just going to tell you what they are. First off, we have the prompt of Slytherin, which will be to find a book with green on the cover, and then Gryffindor, find a book with red on the cover, Hufflepuff, find a book with yellow on the cover, and Ravenclaw to find a book with blue on the cover. So that will cover your bases of all the house colors, but then we have four other props for you to complete as well. And that will be Battle, find a book with a weapon on the cover. Now this can be anything, if it's a sword, shield even, knife, if it's a shovel you can beat someone with that. You can get kind of creative with these prompts because I know not everyone has a lot of books and so just get creative. If you consider it a weapon in some way, make it work. Then we have Harry Potter. Find a book with an H and a P anywhere in the title. As long as it has both of those letters, you're golden. They don't have to be right next to each other or anything like that. It just has to have an H and a P. Then we've got Keep It Short. Find a book under 200 pages. Self-explanatory, any book that the page count is under 200 pages. And lastly, we have Trio of Friends. Find a book with three people on the cover. Now, I know this one can be kind of tough, so if your three people ends up being like three animal creatures or whatever, like I said, again, we know you don't all have a ton of books and that's fine. Just find what you can that fits well enough and it'll count. Now, on that same note of not having a lot of books, we know not everyone has bookshelves full of books or has a ton of books. So if you have library books, you can do it with that. Or if your local library or your local bookstore will let you complete it there, go ahead and do that too. Whatever works for you, go ahead and do it. We just want everyone to have a really good time with this. Okay, so now for why I'm sitting on the floor is I'm going to try to complete this challenge as quickly as I can with the books I have on my shelves or out from my library. So I am going to do that and I will get back to you.
time back. I don't know how much time that took, but I felt like it went pretty fast. So hopefully these challenges aren't too hard. I really struggled with the find a book with three people on the cover. Apparently I have a lot of books with like two people on the cover, romances and contemporaries, but I don't have a lot of books that have three people on the cover. I had a hard time with that one, but I ended up finding a book I bought for my library, which is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. So it's got this girl here and then this girl and this guy. So three people. Like I said, I mean, just get creative with these prompts. If you have a hard time with them, just find whatever you can that you think fits in some way. We're not trying to make you have a super hard time. Just find what you can and have fun with it. So this is mine anyway for a book with three people on the cover. And then for a book under 200 pages, I have Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire, which is 173 pages. So if you have any of these books on your shelf, I think like all of them are under 200 pages. So that's a free one for you right there then. And then for one with an H and a P, I found Other People's Houses, which was pretty easy. And then a weapon on the cover, I have Furyborn by Claire Legrand, which has got this sword here. I don't know how well you can see this stuff. I feel like maybe I'm a little far back from the camera, but hopefully you can see it. And then a book with blue on the cover, I have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. A book with yellow on the cover, I have Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. I feel like because my shelves are like color coordinated, these ones might have been almost cheating for me. They were super easy to find the color ones, but you know. And then a book with red on the cover, I have Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And a book with green on the cover, I pulled My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey. So there you go. That's uh, I completed that and that is what you guys will do. Or again, if you're not doing a YouTube video of you finding those and showing what books you found, then you can just do an Instagram lay, spread, whatever. Just have the books in the picture on Instagram that you found that fit the scavenger hunt. And that's it. I will link any needed information down below. Again, the prompts will all be down below for you to easily access as well. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I hope you guys have fun with it. Earn yourself some house points and just have fun with the readathon in general. I'll be running sprints throughout the entire month as well, along with all the other hosts. So keep an eye out on the Twitter for that. And there you go. I will see you next time.